Hey everyone, my name is Alexandra and I am a watercolor artist. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to paint leaves. Some of you may have already seen my video, Learn to Paint Loose and Natural Watercolor Leaves for Beginners. In that video, I went over just the basics of a simple leaf, but some of you have been asking for more detail on leaves. So I'm going to give that to you today and we're going to learn to paint similar leaves, but I'm going to do three different versions. So we'll have basic, intermediate, and advanced. Can't wait to show you guys. Let's get started. All right, so today for paper, we're going to be using 140 pound cold press paper. I have a longer sheet just to fit in the three different types of leaves, but you guys can use multiple sheets if you want as well. For paints today, I'm using a mixture of different Windsor and Newton paints. Um, you guys can use anything. The main colors that you'll want will be green, yellow, and red. Your napkin. We're going to be using three different paint brushes. If you guys have a small, medium, and large, here I have number eight, four, and three. And two cups of water and a pencil. All right, so we're gonna start first with painting a simple watercolor leaf. So what you guys can do is take your pencil and we're gonna draw a line. If you've seen my previous video on watercolor leaves, you'll remember that we don't want the line to be straight. We wanna give it a bit of a curve just to keep it with that very natural and loose feel. I'm actually going to go back in with my eraser and just erase most of it to make it super, super faint, but so that I can still see it. Right, and now with these first leaves, we're just going to be using our bigger paintbrush here. So here I'm using the number eight for this, but you guys can use honestly any paintbrush that's bigger. Just gonna make sure it's nice and clean in my water. And I'm going into my green paint here, making it nice and watery. All right, so I'm just gonna test it on my napkin. Oh, I just want a little bit more color there. Okay. And we'll get started. So we're going to paint the first leaf. Just start with the tip of your paintbrush down. Apply pressure as you pull back. And then you just lift off at the bottom. So I'm doing the same thing on this side, but I'm leaving a little bit of a white gap in the middle there. And I actually want it to be a little darker, so I'm just going to go over this one with a bit more color. All right, so we're gonna do the same coming down each side. And what I want you guys to remember is to keep the leaves really nice and loose. Don't have them all facing the exact same direction. So just a reminder, we're going tip of our paintbrush down, applying pressure as we pull back. And at the end, I sort of just lift it off instead of having it come to a perfect point. So for this leaf, if you guys want to see it painted a little bit slower, feel free to head back to my other tutorial on loose and natural looking watercolor leaves for beginners. All right, so I'm gonna stick one more leaf in there. I didn't quite have enough water on my paintbrush, so I'll go back into my palette. And we're just gonna go over that one again. So again, the second side of the leaf, I'm not directly attaching it. I'm starting from right beside, applying pressure as I pull back, and then lifting the paintbrush up. And I think we'll do one more leaf at the bottom there. So I'm gonna come at, at it from a different angle Gonna go over that one to make it a bit darker. Apply pressure as I pull back. And then lift my paintbrush up. All right, so now I'm gonna go in 
Just gonna clean my paintbrush off. And now I'm gonna go in with my smaller paintbrush. You guys can use any one that's smaller. I have the Opus number three here. Clean it off and I'm gonna go in and get some paint. I'm just gonna get the exact same green, but make it nice and dark. And with the very, very tip of my paintbrush, I'm gonna follow that pencil line down and you'll see that my line isn't perfectly even for thickness, it sort of varies. Some more paint. And again, if you remember from my other video, this just helps keep it with that really natural look. And now for each leaf, we're gonna add the stems. So instead of making it very stick straight, I want you guys to kind of angle them in. So we're doing a bit of a curve here. And then we'll do the same coming up the other side. Gonna go back in and blend the stem into the leaf just a little bit so it's not such a stark difference between the leaf and where the stem starts. All right, so here we have our easy simple watercolor leaf. If you guys practice this get used to making these leaf shapes it'll make it so much easier as you go so before you move on to the next step make sure to practice this a few times and just get really comfortable painting these kinds of leaves. We are going to move on to intermediate. So for this one, we're actually gonna add one more stem. So I'm gonna do two curved lines this time, one coming up this way, one starting sort of closer to the bottom and we're gonna bring it up the other way and it's not going quite as tall. So as we did last time, we're going to erase the pencil line so that it's almost disappeared. Because I have two branches this time and my paper is smaller, I grabbed a medium-sized paintbrush, so I have opus number four. Um, depending on what kind of space you're working on, you guys can either use your big or medium paintbrush for this. So to get started, this one we're gonna move a little bit slower and going to take my green leaf here. I'm just gonna mix some color onto my palette. And I actually want to do a bit of a mix with my yellow paint. So I'm just gonna get that on. And then I'm also just gonna mix a little bit of red onto the palette. For these leaves, we're gonna be trying to get a little bit more depth of color. A little bit more yellow there. All right, and should be ready to go. So I'm going to start with my green. And starting right at the top of where my line ends, we'll do the first leaf. So same thing, tip of your paintbrush is down, apply pressure as you pull back, and then lift your paintbrush off. So I had a little bit too much water on this one, so I'm just gonna dry off my paintbrush and pick some of it up. And now, while my leaf is wet, I'm going to go in with a little bit of yellow. And I'm just gonna dot it in there. So you'll see the color show through more as it begins to dry. And I'm just gonna follow that same concept as I work my way down around the stem. And for this one, this one I had the leaves a little bit more uniform to each other. 
For this one, I kind of want to change the shape up a little bit for each leaf. So I might do one that's a little bit skinnier. Kind of looks like it's folded. And what I'm doing here, because I need to give these a tiny bit of time to dry, I'm gonna paint a few leaves and then clean my paintbrush off. While these ones are wet, I'm gonna go in with the yellow. Sort of taut it in there. And we'll do a few more. I'm just going to blend that in a little bit because it's drying a bit splotchy. There we go. So you can see if I start getting that look where there's the white spaces as I'm painting, it means I either don't have enough water on my palette or on my paintbrush. So I'm just gonna go back over it with some more water. So again, I'm moving pretty quickly for these cause I wanna get the yellow mixed into it while the leaves are still wet. So if you guys need to slow this video down and go back and watch and just do one leaf at a time, then definitely go ahead and do that. The thing that you learn the more that you paint with watercolor is depending on what techniques you're using, you often have to move very quickly to get your colors mixed on your paper before it's dry. Now I'm doing the same on this side here. So again, keeping my leaves really loose, all sort of different shapes. I'm gonna add a few more in here, but I just wanna wait for this layer to dry, so. I'll show you guys that in a minute, but I'll just start all on the one side. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and add the yellow in. So you'll see I'm literally just kind of dotting the yellow onto my leaf doesn't need to be super specific. All of these look really loose right now and then I'm gonna add some details to kind of define it a little bit more as soon as that layer dries. But while we wait for it to dry, we can actually go ahead and paint the stem here. So I'm gonna switch back to my small paintbrush. And this time we're gonna take our green paint nice and dark. And then I'm gonna actually mix it with some red here. And just a little bit of yellow. Some orange there. So I'm just trying to get not exactly a green color. I want it to be a little bit more brown this time. If you guys want some more tutorials on things like color mixing, then leave a comment below and let me know. Um, yeah, there's definitely a lot to learn with that. So I would love to share it with you guys if you guys are interested. So now again, I'm just following the line where my pencil was. And not going perfectly straight. Some spots are thicker, some are thinner. And I'm gonna go in, add little stems to each leaf, keeping it, yeah, 
curved, nice, loose, natural looking. And then I'm going to follow this other pencil line we had here to give us our second branch. And then, yeah, as soon as this is just a little bit more dry, I'm going to add one more leaf in there. But in the meantime, for our intermediate leaves, we're just going to add in some shading to kind of clean it up a little bit. So I'm going back to my number four paintbrush. All right, so I started running out of my green paint there, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more, um, just so you guys can see exactly what paint I'm using today for this one. I have Winsor & Newton Series 2 Perline Green. Um, often I will just mix my paint colors to get the desired one that I want, but I actually love the specific tone of this green, so yeah, it's a common one that I use when I'm painting leaves just because of the color and how nice it looks when it's mixed with other colors. Alright, so now we're going to add a little bit of shading into these leaves. So I'm going into my green. So I'm mixing it nice and dark here. And then I'm going to mix it with a little bit of my red here. This kind of making a brown color, but just give it some more depth there. And now on each leaf, we're adding a bit of shading. It doesn't really matter exactly where on the leaf you put it. If you want to be super particular, you can kind of think of where your light would be coming from and work that way. Um, yeah, but for this, we're just gonna go for it. So, on my leaves, I'm just adding in darker color to kind of half of the leaves for the ones that are more angled. And then the ones that are more straight up, I might just bring my paint down from the tip. So again, this is really loose. You guys don't need to be too particular with it. You guys can honestly just have fun with it. Um, the trick with adding shading to your leaves is to make sure that you're not taking your dark color and fully painting in the leaf. Instead, you just want to be kind of hitting part of it. And you'll see my strokes are super messy. I'm not being too picky with them at all. For some of these, I can kind of just come from the bottom. And the ones that I added more yellow, the nice thing is when I do this, the yellow kind of shows through. So again, you can add just a half of some of the leaves or you can start from the bottom and work your way up. Yeah, so honestly, just have fun with this. If you guys want, just paint a million leaves and just practice adding darker lines in different ways. Um, if you take a look here, each leaf looks completely different from each other. And yeah, this just gives it a much more natural look than if I had them all uniform and exactly the same. So I'm just gonna go a little bit darker in this one here. And then I forgot about that extra little leaf I wanted to add, so we're gonna do that now. So I'm just gonna go in with lighter paint, because this one is kind of sitting behind. And then I do still want to add the yellow into this one. some yellow in there. Alright, so we have our easy leaf, our intermediate leaf. I will finish off right now really quickly just by adding that shading in. So just adding some lines in there. This one because it overlaps with the other leaf I'm starting more from the top just so that yeah it kind of looks like they're layered there. 
And now we are going to move on to our advanced leaves. First thing I'm gonna get you guys to do actually is take your pencil and just for fun, this one we're gonna do three branches instead of two. So the middle branch, we're gonna give it kind of a bit of a wave like this first one, but it'll be relatively straight. And then we'll do two coming out from either side. So one will start a little higher. You're gonna do a line coming up. And then we'll do another one from a bit lower. Again, I gave it a bit of a wave here. It's not perfectly straight. And as we did with these first two, you're gonna go back in with your eraser and erase most of the pencil so that it's a nice, really faint line. All right, so for these leaves, because they are a little bit more advanced, but I still want to make them easy for you guys to figure out and learn how to do, we are gonna have to paint it sort of in layers. So we're actually gonna start with these two outside branches first. And we want to keep the leaves really nice and light for these ones. So again, I'm taking my middle sized paintbrush, my number four, just cause we have more leaves here. So I won't be able to do them as big as this first one. And I'm gonna go ahead, clean off my paintbrush, taking this green again, but I do kind of want to mix it with some of my red there. And with the two outside branches, we're just starting with really nice, light, faint leaves. And we're actually gonna do similar concept to the intermediate ones here where we're gonna mix in some yellow as we go. So I'm just changing the directions of some of my leaves so they're not all exactly the same. And then while it's all still wet, I get you to go in with a little bit of your yellow. Just kind of dot it in there. So this one was a little bit more dry, but honestly, that's okay. We're gonna cover it with more layers. So I don't mind that it didn't exactly blend the same as the other ones. All right, so now we're doing same thing on this side. So we're gonna start with our first leaf, the end of our pencil line. So the tip of your paintbrush down, apply pressure as you pull back. And then we'll do a skinny one, kind of more on its side here. And this time I'm gonna do less leaves just to make sure it doesn't dry too much before adding the yellow. So just keep adding leaves in until it's nice and full. And again, just have them all sort of different shapes. Um, add another one down here, I think. I'm just adding some more water to those before I add the yellow. Right now we're just gonna go in with some yellow. So again, this is kind of just more practice for what we did here. So far the concepts are all pretty similar. So as you can see with any watercolor, you honestly can just keep building on what you've already done. And yeah, it's a really good way just to grow and develop your skill is just by practicing something simple and then figuring out, okay, how can I make it more detailed and more detailed and just keep going until you're happy. Right, so we're adding yellow in there. Okay. So this is looking really full and nice with our leaves. Again, I'm trying to keep these bottom layers lighter than I will this top stem, but you'll see that as we go. So I'm just gonna find my leaves that 
are already dry and we're gonna add shading just like we did with our intermediate one. So again, I'm taking my green and I'm not gonna go quite as dark as I did here. We're gonna keep it a little lighter. This one I do wanna mix some red into. So I, I believe that's my cadmium red. So it gives it kind of a gray green color. Test it on my napkin. That seems pretty dark still, so I'm just gonna add some more water. Okay, and now same as this, we're gonna do some shading. So again, with the shading, I'm honestly, for some of these bottom leaves, I'll just pick one half and I'll add some color to it. For some of the ones that are facing more straight up, I'll either go from the bottom or from the top. And you'll notice again that for these, I'm not going too dark, I'm keeping it relatively light still, which is why it's so important to get that first layer painted on really light and faint so that we actually can do this layering technique. And then if I feel like it's too light, I can always go back in later and add more. So the idea is that we're adding the shading, but you can still see the yellow paint through that we had put in earlier. All right, so the nice and simple, um, it doesn't quite look like this one just because I kept the colors lighter, but what we're going to do is as soon as this dries, we're gonna add one more stem and these leaves are actually gonna go right on top of the ones that we just painted. So now, going to mix up some more paint. For this one, I want them to be a little brighter, so I'm actually just gonna get some yellow and mix it right into the green there. You'll notice my palette gets nice and messy as I keep going and deciding what colors I'm using. And we're gonna start by painting our leaves. So again, there's the end of my line. And I'll do my first leaf right at the top there. And I'm gonna work my way down. Again, trying to kind of change direction. And you'll notice once I get to these other leaves, I'm actually just gonna go sort of right on top, just for a few of them though. And we'll just do one more here. Nice skinny one. All right, so while those are wet, we're gonna go in, just add some yellow. And now, while I wait for that to dry, we can paint the stem in for these other leaves here. So it's up to you guys. You can always do a full layer, wait for it to dry, and then move on to the next part. I find myself bouncing around quite a bit because as the layer dries, I'll add more details and then I'll jump back to where I had left off. So for this one, you guys kind of just mix up more of a brown color. We're gonna do the same thing that we did for this. And it's gonna bring our stem back. I want a little bit more red in there. So here I'm sort of mixing green, orange, and red, but you can always mix some green and yellow and red. 
just whatever until you're happy with the color that you get. So I'm following that pencil line that I drew earlier. And as with both the other ones, changing up the thickness, not perfectly straight. And we'll do some little stems coming in from our leaves here. And then I actually want to add a little bit more depth in there. So I'm gonna go back into my red here. Now I do, I did have some green on my paintbrush so it's mixed with a little bit of green. And I'm actually just gonna overlap on pieces of this. So I'm not necessarily painting the stem red but it'll show through and it's honestly just more eye-catching as you look at the whole painting to see these different colors sort of just blended in. All right, now I just have to give it a couple minutes for this top layer to dry before we move on to the next step. All right, so now that this has dried off a bit more, we can start adding more of our detail to kind of this top stem here. So I'm gonna continue with my medium-sized paintbrush here. And just like we did with these ones, we're gonna go in with that darker green. Gonna mix it with just a touch of red. Okay, and we're just gonna add the shading in. So again, you can kind of change where you place it. Some of these I'll just do one side, start from the bottom. Right in here, I had painted this leaf underneath just a little bit too dark. So I'm going to try to make it just a touch lighter, um, just cause I really want this front branch to sort of pop. So what I'm gonna do is rinsing the paintbrush in clean water. If you guys want more information on different ways to kind of fix mistakes as you go along with painting, I do have a video on that. So definitely feel free to go watch it. But what I'm doing is I'm just putting water on top of this leaf here. And then I'm just gonna grab a napkin. And I, I'm just bunching it up just cause this is a really small space to work in. And I'm dabbing it onto where the leaf was just to kind of lift some of that color off. So I still do want the leaf to be visible underneath there, but I also really want to be able to see the contrast with the two leaves beside it. So I'm just going to go in and do that one more time. And then I'll still be able to go back and add some more details if needed. So the watercolors that I have are staining watercolors, which means I won't be able to fully lift the color off, but I definitely can lighten it, which is helpful. Okay. Perfect, so while that dries, we're now gonna add the stem here. So again, going back with my small paintbrush, and this is where I sort of had that brown green mixture. And some red. So I've just gotten used to mixing colors. But again, if you guys want more in-depth information on how, how to do this, how I choose which colors to mix, then leave a comment below and I'd love to share more with you guys. All right, so let's start with this leaf, following that pencil line that I had. And then I'm going behind this leaf and I'll 
continue right where it finishes. It's a nice thin line. And this one came out a little bit more green, so it'll actually be really nice to add the red in there to get it a little bit more similar to this first stem. So now I'm gonna go take my red, and we're just gonna go right on top. Just do a little bit of layering here. As you guys get more comfortable with layering, it's really, or with watercolor, it's really fun to practice layering different colors and just seeing what effect you get. All right, so we are now going back to our really light branches here, and we're gonna add some veining. So I'm mixing a green color I don't want it to be super dark, but I just want it to be a little bit darker than my darkest tone on these. So you guys might have to play around till you get exactly the color that you want. I'm taking my really small paintbrush here. You wanna make sure it comes to a nice point for this, or you can get an even tinier paintbrush for details. And we're gonna add some veining. So, really small details here, but I'm gonna do a line down the center of my leaf. And then I'm doing the tiny veins coming out from it. So really thin lines here. I don't necessarily have to do the same on both sides. So this one I did more on the left side, less on the right. And we're just gonna keep going. This leaf sort of looks like it's folding over backwards a bit, so I'm just gonna do them on one side here. And this one kind of looks like it's folded in half, so I'm actually just gonna do the veins starting from the bottom and working their way up. Again, making sure to keep them just really tiny and delicate. So you'll notice too that to keep it looking really natural, I'm using a very light color for this. Um, it honestly just adds that very small amount of depth, but it doesn't necessarily overpower what's already happening with the leaves. So I can still see the yellow through that I've painted in and I can still see all the different colors that I've added. And again, with this detail, I wanna make sure that you guys aren't doing really stiff, straight lines. Just keep, keep yourself really relaxed. Do them nice and loose. We're gonna do the same over here. Yeah, so if you look at my lines, you'll see they're pretty random, but also if you guys are just out and about and looking at leaves in general, um, you'll, you'll notice that yeah, that's, that's how they look. None of them are really too perfect and straight. So just have fun with it. This is also, if you guys are just learning with watercolor, this is a really good way to practice with your paintbrush control. If you guys try to paint this whole thing with one size paintbrush that comes to a really nice point, it's really good practice for using the base of it for the bigger part of the leaves, using the tip of it for these little details. I sometimes do that just to challenge myself um, and get really comfortable with the paintbrushes that I have. So I'm going to do some on this little really light leaf that's in the middle here. Again, just adding really fine, fine lines. And I miss this leaf here, so we'll do this one again looks kind of like it's folded over, so we're going to do them all coming up from the bottom. Alright, so I think that's all of the base leaves. Now we're just going to finish this top stem here. So again, we're making our nice mixture of colors. This time I'm gonna to try to make sure I mix them all on my palette and not where the paints are. 
Otherwise, I end up with nice muddy colors like this yellow here. I'll often go in and clean it at some point, but as you guys have noticed in my videos, I tend to keep the main part of my palettes dirty and don't necessarily clean them between every time I'm painting because I just learn where the colors are that I want and how to mix them. That seems to be a controversy between watercolor artists where some will clean between every time they paint and others have their palettes looking like mine. Alright, so I'm liking that color that I got there. So we're gonna go from the top, I'm following that pencil line and I'm going all the way down over top of that one little leaf that's in the middle there. just want it to be a little darker. So I'm gonna go over again, darker. Alright, and now we'll do the same as we did with those stems and we're gonna grab some red. We're going to go over top. This one, the red came across a little too bright, so I'll just sort of go over it with some more green. And now we want to add the little details into these leaves. So again, I'm just doing really fine lines. With these leaves, because I painted them darker, I'm gonna have to go a little darker with my veins. And I might only paint them on the side that's lighter so that you can really see them. There you have it. So for the advanced leaf, I wanted to do a little bit of overlapping just because it's obviously gives it more of a full look than something like the easy one does. This is something that's so fun to just practice and especially with something like leaves, you can make it look different every single time. If I wanted to, I could make the back stems much, much lighter than I have them here and I can kind of bring a really dark branch out in front to just make it stand out a lot more. You guys can practice with shading. If you want to practice, you can imagine that the light source is coming from here and learn to sort of shade opposite the light source. Um, yeah, so just have fun with this. Practice all of these versions and Practice mixing different colors in with them as well. These ones I did yellow, you could add more of an orange into them. You could add red and just see, yeah, see all the different effects that you can get and keep on practicing. Thanks for joining everyone. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Also, if you followed along, make sure to take a picture, share it with me on Instagram at Alexandra Victoria Studio. I would absolutely love to see what you guys paint, so please do share. Also, if you haven't already, make sure to like this video, subscribe, and comment below what you'd like to learn next. See you next time.